What are the classic signs of overtraining? Watch this. Our next caller is Taylor from California. Taylor, what's happening? How can we help you? Uh, nothing much. Uh, thank you so much for having me on. I uh, found you guys late last year. Uh, when I started work from home and needed something to kind of fill the void of being alone at home working and stuff. So I've been really enjoying the whole uh, backlog of uh, podcasts and everything. Uh, so we appreciate it. Cool. So for the past uh, six months, I've been running a six day uh, pull a push legs uh, beginner strength routine. Um, I've been more seriously lifting for about a year now. Um, though back in high school, I did water polo and swim. So weightlifting wasn't a foreign concept to me. Um, after about a few months, the beginner gains, uh, began to, uh, taper off. And ever, uh, since then I really, uh, stalled out on the four primary lifts, bench squat, deadlift, overhead press. Uh, during this time, I was also running two and a half miles a day and with an hour walk after work as well. Um, I've gradually increased, uh, my calories from 2,200 up to about 2,500 right now to try and remedy the plateau. And I still haven't really seen any increases in strength or weight. Um, and, and so I've been hovering at Right around 155 pounds, and I'm five foot ten. Um, and at the end of every workout, I'm definitely fatigued, tired, and everything. So I know it's not a case of not going hard enough uh, during workouts. Um, and more recently, I've been experiencing really low libido, low motivation to work out, and general fatigue. Um, I got my testosterone tested and I come to find out uh, that it's in the teens, actually. And me being 27 year old male, uh, that's pretty shocking. Um, my primary goal has been to increase size and strength uh, with minimal fat gain, hence all the cardio and everything. I'm trying, trying to do a lean bulking approach. Um, and it's my question for you guys is, the lack of progress likely more due to low testosterone, uh, overtraining, uh, likely some combination of both. And when I do start TRT, uh, what can I expect um, as far as gym performance and just general quality of life improvements? I have started on it actually a couple of weeks ago, um, and I've noticed a little bit of mood improvement, things like that. Uh, just wanting to get your opinion on what else to expect as I continue therapy, um, increase calories further, revamp my workouts. What do you think? Yeah. Taylor, you've been listening to our show for a little while. I have. W what do you think we're going to say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Prediction. Here we Over go. Overtraining for sure. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. look, okay. Uh, uh, all the above though. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I, I want to get this clear. Teens, you were in the low teens. Is that what you said? That's what it said. Yeah, that is uh, alarming. So, yeah, low teens, even like double digits is uh, pretty concerning. Yeah, so. yeah. So, overtraining, um, overstress will hammer testosterone. So, your lack of gains is it coming from low testosterone? I mean, yeah, some of it, but what's the low testosterone coming from? You're beating the shit out yes. of yourself. Yeah. You're, you're, okay. So uh, you're six days a week. You're doing it as, all the cardio, and it's a beginner beginner strength training program. Yeah, six which, days a week. That doesn't sound what, like a beginner what beginner program. program is this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I found it on Reddit. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, a yeah. pretty popular one. It's just called like Reddit six day pull push legs. Yeah. Um, I will mention that I did like definitely add extra exercises and extra sets. Oh God. Yeah. Um, especially for <laughs> Snuck that one in on us too. Okay. Yeah. Taylor, yeah, bro. Taylor, this is look, <laughs> let me, okay. So here's the deal with add the calories, math 15. And then you're, yo, I would have actually liked to get a hold of you before the TRT. Cause I would have liked to see what I could have done first. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause I think, I think that simply reducing the intensity and or volume of training, bumping your calories, dropping the running, mm -hmm. uh, putting you on a program more like a map 15 or a maps anabolic, 
Uh, mm-hmm. I think we could are, and then focusing on things like sleep, uh, make sure we've got a good balance, make sure you're getting sleep, good, healthy sun, fats, recovery. sun. Yeah. Like there's a lot of things that I, I would have liked to have done with you first just to see what I could mm-hmm. done. But it sounds like your TRT was in the, uh, you know, your, uh, your testosterone was in the floor. So, um, so let's, let, okay. We got to dive a little deeper here. So you, you're like, oh my God, I feel like crap. I'm going to bump my calories 300. Why did you only bump your calories up 300? Why not more? Uh, minimizing fat gain. Uh, last year I did a pretty aggressive crash diet, um, where, and you guys are going to hate me for this. I was down to like 1500 calories and like running twice as much as I'm doing right now. Mm. Did that for a few months and I just felt so lousy. So I stopped doing that. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that really killed my uh testosterone yeah. and then i just never really checked that's, up on it that's right that's here. right and you no know, you're right you, that's yeah. this is where this started and then you just have not tried to truly recover yeah. you think you did something to recover but you didn't here's the second question so question one was why'd you only bump at 300 i'm afraid of gaining body fat mm-hmm. second part of the question why haven't you cut the volume and intensity uh, of all your workouts i like to work hard um why and, it's not for results, obviously, cause you're not getting any. So why, right, right. why do you like to work hard? To feel like I'm doing something right. Um, okay. Okay. So, yeah. so this goes a lot deeper than what you're asking. <clears throat> okay. So you're abusing exercise and diet. So you got to look a little deeper because I'm going to give you advice. It's not going to help you though, until you realize what you're doing with your workouts and your diet. Okay. Cause mm-hmm. it's not for results. That's not why you're doing it because you're not getting good results. It's not to feel good because you feel good. like shit. So this is an abusive relationship that you have with exercise and diet. You're abusing it like a drug, like when someone's an alcoholic and they're dying, but they won't stop drinking. Um, this is what's happening with you in exercise. Obviously not to that extreme, but um, you're not touching those things because you have a poor, this is a dysfunctional relationship. So uh, now I need you to look at that very closely and pay attention to it because what needs to happen is this. First off, be going on testosterone replacement therapy with everything that's going on, it's like your house is on fire and then you get a squirt gun and you start squirting water at the house. Like, is testosterone going to help you feel better? Uh, a little bit. It ain't going to save you. I promise you that. Mm-hmm. You're still going to you're still going to drive yourself. In fact, you're going to be worse. Yeah, because you're gonna, it's going to mask more confident. It's going to mask yeah. some of the symptoms, uh, and you're going to continue to probably do things that you shouldn't do. Yeah, you, like if you were my client, uh, in, like there's two ways I would approach this. Okay, one would be this real mm-hmm. gradual approach because I need you to be consistent, and I know psychologically it'll be really hard to do what you need to do. The second way would be, okay, if I know you're going to do what I'm going to tell you, this is what I'm going to tell you to do. You're going to take two weeks off completely. You're going to bump your calories up to about 2,800 calories. When you go back to working out, you're going to lift weights twice a week, and you're going to keep your calories at about 2,800 calories. And you stay there until you start to feel freaking strong and amazing. And then we'll add another day of strength training, and then we're going to stay there for like a year. That's it. Now, you can walk. That's fine. I'm not going to have you run. I'm not going to have you do anything else. You want to walk, fine. Go for a leisurely walk. Your walks should not be workouts. They should be just leisurely. And that's it. That's where I keep you for a long, like a year is where I keep you to allow your body to heal. Now, are you, do you think you're able to do that? Or do you think that's going to be too challenging for you psychologically? That might be kind of challenging for me psychologically. Because I'm also a pretty competitive person and I have a few friends that also work out a lot that are also really into weightlifting and stuff. And they're always like sending me Snapchats of, Oh, I got a new PR. Oh, I got that's awesome. this and that. That's awesome. You, are they real friends? Or are they just like, like, you know what I mean by like, do they really care about your well being? Are they supportive or are they just like friends you made through working out where you just try and push each other? No, we've been buddies for years. We oh. used to go backpacking oh. all the time and everything. So it's coming from a good place. I'm just reading way too much into it and like i want to be able to like, keep up and like be competitive with them because that's fun you too. will you will be you yeah. will be if mm-hmm. we do this right yeah taylor are, are, uh, so send them send them this episode when it airs and i'm gonna talk to your friends right now taylor needs your support and he's gonna get triggered with the competitive stuff he's abusing exercise and hurting his body so he needs your support he's gonna be working out way less he needs to eat more 
He needs to get himself better. So if these are really good friends, then they're going to help uh, do that for you. Because I know how triggering that can be when you're watching other people do mm -hmm. what you think you should be able to do and it's, mm -hmm. it's not working for you. Do you want to send him uh, Maps Anabolic or Maps 15 to oh, start? Oh, uh, you know, I like Maps Anabolic. Yeah, I, because like two times a week? Yep, because I know what will happen if we give him Maps 15. It'll turn into exactly. Maps 60. Because it's, <laughs> so, it's so many yeah. days a week. Yeah. Yeah. Maps exactly. Anabolic, do the two days a week foundational workouts. Bump your calories, and I suggest you work with somebody on the root reasons as to why you're abusing exercise the way you are. A therapist would be a good idea, but I think that's going to solve that'll that'll really help you quite a bit. Otherwise, you're going to go. This is going to be a like your, your body's going to get the, the signals are going to get louder. Did you did did I hear you say when we first started talking that uh, you really have only been like consistent training for the last year or two years? Is that when when did you get into like fitness? Uh, the past year I would say I started off at my like crappy apartment gym and then eventually I uh moved over to plant fitness for a couple months uh I realized that was horrible and I found an actual gym with like actual equipment and stuff so since last October I've been doing proper uh barbell training yeah and you so and what before was that you played water polo right yeah. how many years did you do that for uh back in high school uh so that was only four years Okay. What was, what was the the catalyst to, to 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 motivate you to go and start working out? I mean, what was there uh, a, something physically that you wanted to change? Was there a competition that came up? Was there what made you go? I'm going to start working out. Mm -hmm. uh, so it started off with me like just kind of wanting to challenge myself to like see if I could lose weight because I never really deliberately tried losing weight before. So I was like, okay, screw it. I'll try it to see if I can do it. Uh, and then I got down from 170 pounds down to like 150. And I was like, okay, now I got to build myself back up because I'm just too small, too scrawny. And that's when I picked up weightlifting because I was wanting to actually put on some size and strength. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be a, um, this, the challenge for you is not the same challenge that most people have. Most people's challenge is consistency and how do I stick with this and all that stuff. Your challenge is going to be, how do I not abuse this? How do I keep, how do I create a relationship where this is beneficial and not destructive? Uh, so you're going to, I mean, I, I would have to pull you back constantly if you're my client, the, which is the opposite of what I tend to have to the do. The truth is though, if you do, if you listen to exactly the, the, what you, what Sal said, as far as the two days a week, bump the calories all the way up, cut out the running and, and, and stick to that. You should actually yeah. feel and see a difference. Like within weeks, like you'll start to feel better, look better, all the above here. I'll, I'll trip you out right now, Taylor. So I'm going to make a prediction that I'll bet money on. You take two weeks off completely. Okay. You just started TRT. What a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. You take two weeks off completely. When you go back to working out, you're going to have significant strength gains. Mm-hmm. From taking two weeks off, you're going to go back, Easily. you'll do a couple exercises and you're going to be stronger. Okay. Okay. And when that happens, so long as you feed yourself, so don't starve yourself. When that happens, there's your hint. There's your clue. Like, oh shit. Uh, uh, I've been really overdoing it. We didn't, we didn't get into your macros at all or anything like that, but did you, did you dramatically cut any single macro? Did you like reduce fat, like really low or do anything like that? Or did you just go by calories? I definitely prioritized uh, protein. This um, entire time, it's been at least one gram per pound of body weight. Um, and the, the like dietary fats, uh, no less than 50 grams this entire time. Then oh. the rest was just carbs up and down. Oh, bro, you got to get your fats yeah. up. Start having some uh, yeah. for your sources of protein. Start getting steak. If your fat was Start, that low, yeah, and that's, what you're saying, did you get your nutrients tested like vitamin D, your fat soluble vitamins? No, vitamin D wasn't a uh, part of the blood panel. Wow, bro. really? Uh, and they gave all you, like the lipids and everything were fine. That doesn't matter. They didn't give you, t they gave you testosterone with testing your D without testing your vitamin D? Nope. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, dude, you're, uh, I would guess because your fat is so low with yeah. some of your symptoms, I would guess, and I'm, I'd say guess because I because I still want to get this tested. By the way, that's where I want you to bump your calories. Yeah. Bump fat. it in fat. Mm -hmm. Yep. Go get your, go get your, go get your, your, your nutrients tested. Iron, 
D, uh, magnesium. Um, those are the most important ones right now, I would say. Zinc. See if you can get those tested. Because if those are low, your testosterone is going to be on the floor as well. You'll yep. have anxiety, right. depression, low recovery, all that stuff from having... I mean, going from low vitamin D to adequate feels like you just took yeah. anabolic steroids. Like yep. it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a huge difference. And just so you know, uh, 50 or less is low for my female clients. With fat. Yeah. And who are doing proper <laughs> proper amounts of weight training. So that's really fucking low. Okay. Yeah. So for my situation, what would hundred be? Over 100. Hit 100 plus. That, really? Yes. Okay. 100 grams plus minimum a day. And so when Sal told you to bump calories, bump it all mm -hmm. from fat. Uh, so if you're a, a chicken and fish guy, become a steak guy, you know? Start at add olive oil to when you're cooking. Revised. Like yep. you need to you need to bump your fat. Okay, yep. sounds good. Yep, uh, that's something I've been like kind of avoiding in the past because I'm someone that loves volume eating. I like need to eat a lot of food to be able to like keep me full and everything. Go to town of vegetables. So it's primarily a like pile of vegetables and like chicken stuff you, like that you know that's why it. though that's, that's okay eat the chicken thighs put the olive yeah. oil on the vegetables yeah so th that those are two easy ways right there we can compromise your client of mine you tell me that okay cool eat your big ass bowl of vegetables pour olive oil on it instead of having chicken breast have chicken thighs add in some steak like there, there's a way to compromise yeah. we can we can by the way when a, a clue that one of your macro your essential macronutrients is too low is that you need lots of volume to feel satiated. Mm. Okay? Nutrient deficiencies will do that. In fact, if a nutrient deficiency gets bad enough, no amount of volume will start to feel like it's satisfying you. Yeah, that's one of the beauties yeah. of good fats. Like, good fats will, will satiate you. You'll yeah. feel better on it. So let's do that. I'm going to have Doug put you also in the private form because I want to be able to keep an eye on yeah. you as we go through this process. So yep. we're going to send you over MAPS Anabolic. That's the program after your two weeks off that that, that Sal is recommending. I want yeah. you in the forum. Go get those tested like Sal was saying and then and then let us know in the forum and then we're going to keep an eye on you. We're going to fix this shit. Yep. That sounds perfect. Thank you so much. You got it, man. All right, Taylor. Good luck. You got, right. you got this, man. Yeah, thank you. See ya. You know, I don't know why I didn't I didn't think to ask his macros when yeah, we were. Oh, I'm glad like, you did. I yeah. figured it. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was a good question because, duh. You know, yeah, if, I, if he's doing all this other stuff, well, he wasn't terrible. Like, he wasn't like. I mean, he's low, right? Like, and obviously, when he was fifteen hundred, that would have been an obvious thing. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe he's like one of those guys who eats all fucking fish and chicken and is like yeah. avoiding fat like crazy, and that'll make you that'll drop testosterone like that. That'll make you feel like that too. Yeah. I mm -hmm. want people watching and listening to this too. Like it, it, you, you know, it sounds obvious on the outside. Like, well, duh. Like you're overdoing this and that. When you have a dysfunctional relationship with something, it's not. So yeah. it's easy to judge, but I'm pretty sure everybody watching right now does something that is not good for them mm -hmm. that they really, if they thought about it, they know, but they ignore it and they continue doing it anyway. It's no different. And uh, fitness can be abused just as well. Listen, so, and that's it, what he's experiencing. Listen, it could also, you could, it could also not be coming from a place of pure dysfunction, just unaware. You're unaware that you're unaware. Yeah. It just crept up on him. I mean, it, uh, I mean, I, I was, we were both kind of, prodding for like some psychological thing that he's well even abusing. being well, weight, weight training is so new to him too yeah and, so. and being that unaware is uh, of uh it's a dysfunction correct it is mm -hmm. but i mean like he like it's not like he, when you say that like sometimes like the thing that i thought i was searching for that i thought i was going to hear from him was like oh uh, trauma you know, i quit yeah trauma trauma i quit i quit drinking or smoking and now i went this way be, no. yeah it, 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 and that's what i mean by that like yeah. some people will think that dysfunction automatically means you have like this no. crazy trauma or something like that but you could have this dysfunctional relationship relationship with exercise and food and it kind of just crept up on you and you don't even realize it just because you think you're doing the right thing by cutting these calories and cutting these fats you think you're doing the right thing by pushing the lifting weights because i need to build muscle because i'm too skinny like he's thinking it's out for me it sounds like he's thinking like he's doing the right yeah. things yeah but you look that's that's for him to figure out with somebody and you, we're not going to be able to get that yeah, in right. this conversation I mean, right right but it's obvious that the that the relationship he has with with exercise is not helping him at all no. so that's why i wanted to make that i tell point. you what though you watch you if he bumps his calories from fat 
He takes those two weeks off. Oh my god! He comes back with just two he's days. He's gonna get ten pounds well, of muscle on accident. He, I and, hope he really like pays attention and how he's, he feels. And he's on TRT right now. Yeah, Look, he'll, get, he'll gain ten pounds of muscle literally on accident. Yeah, he'll sure. be like, what happened? His yeah. body's starving. For I him. hope he follows up with this because he will be he will be a great person to talk to three to six months from now if he listened to the what we gave him.